Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this episode for Action Noob to Master Series we're gonna revisit repeaters and it's about deeper interaction with a repeater because I have shown you already how you can add a list item in repeaters in previous videos. I've shown you how to add let's say filter options if you want to filter something out. I've shown you how to let's say sort the things so that's easy, you can refer to back to the previous videos. So I showed you how to even, you know, transfer the information from repeater to repeater or across pages even if it's using variables. So that's clear. Now, the question which lots of people ask me in emails and comments is how can you target a specific repeater item? Because as you can see, it's really easy to make a repeater item interactive. So let's say if you click something, we can replace the dynamic panel of it and make it marked but you can't really target it easily out of somewhere else. So if I would add like a big button somewhere in the corner saying highlight every experienced designer, which would then be a manual sorting type of option or identification, you would need to go deeper. So today we're gonna explore just that. Now, before we jump into it, really quickly I'm gonna show you how to make one repeater item to be active. So let's say if I click on it, I want to change the background color for a specific item. So go to my repeater file, to my template, and just this background element, make it a dynamic panel. And I'm just gonna call it BG color, let's say. And state one, the default is gonna be white. And if it's selected, I'm gonna make it, let's say something else. Uh, let me see what color I can choose. Maybe just like this type of really dangerous green, which is gonna look quite horrible in, in the demo, but so be it. And so whenever I click on the button, this button, as you can see, it's also a dynamic panel. I can just also state it to set panel state. Let's say BG color, which I just defined a second ago and change it to selected. Simple as that. And now if I preview, you're gonna see that every item I click is gonna have that background color. So that's a very easy way to do so. You know, it's instant. What if I want to change that background color I just created, if let's say I have a button which says, highlight all engineers or highlight all UX leads or highlight every person who has, let's say, experience design in their team. How can I do that? Well, let me show you how I can do that. First and foremost, you, if you are following this, create that thing I just did with the background color swap. That's the easy option. And then what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna make a, a trigger, which is gonna be, you know, and this is a demo trigger. You know, you can attach the same exact highlighting and targeting of a specific repeater field option to any event across the action, but I'm gonna make a button just so you know. I'm gonna call it demo highlight, but let me just make it like so. It's good enough. The first thing which you want to do is, you know, understand how repeaters work because repeaters is so complex functionality in action, but it's so rewarding and you kind of need to learn to master it because once you do, everything becomes easier and more automated and smart, if that makes sense. And so what we're gonna do is gonna use repeater update row functionality as well as some ingenious looping, checking if it's selected, let's say, and then highlighting the bits. But first and foremost, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my repeater here and I'm gonna go to style where we have a data set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a separate column, which is basically gonna be our, let's say, C selected. It's gonna be an empty state, but we need to check within the repeater that the item, one of them is, has been selected or there is some sort of update to the row so that we can uh, tweak and, and add some interaction to it, you know, and, and the coloring to it. And so we're gonna leave it empty. And what we're gonna do next is just go to our button and add some new interactions to it. So for example, if I go ahead and click and say, click or tap, and I'm gonna be looking for update rows, so down below in the repeater action is gonna find update roads, call out, and then I'm gonna select my special repeater. As you can see, I have two, if you remember from previous videos, but I just need the first one, which is employee list. And here you're gonna be able to define the rules. Now, the rules here is basically what we're looking for. So if this button wants to target experience design team, let's say members or just myself, whichever way you want to do it, you would just go ahead and just say item dot uh, C name, let's say, and I could just say uh, my name 
yada 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 and fill it in or I could say C team and the C team corresponds to this specific column name if you remember from my let me just go back in a data set as you can see C name C role so you can just type it in if you don't want to type it in or you're not sure about it well let me go back you can just go ahead and just use a function clicker here you can just delete everything go to insert variables or functions and select here from the list below under repeaters so i'm just gonna go ahead and let's presume that i want to select every experience designer in the list right so i'm gonna go a item c team and i'm gonna follow the same syntax like here and gonna tell it uh, experience design you want to be case sensitive with this so make sure that it corresponds to this 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 item this value I'm gonna click OK and now we're basically what we're saying once I click it it's gonna find the rule is all the C team column items with experience design but we need to then go next step and we need to identify which ones we can actually tweak. So what, what we can do is actually go ahead and say select column after we identify it and detect the C selected. If you remember, we just created that empty column beforehand. I'm going to go that and I can just add it, let's say true. You can already see where I'm going. Now, next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if those items are true then I'm going to change the background easily as that. So once you do that, click done. That's done and dusted for this button. But now I need to go into my repeater and check it here because we need to attach that change to something, right? So you see, I have already predefined bits, which basically load my repeater values. If you remember from previous videos, but all I need to do is really just add another case. And in that new case, I can just add logic and we can go into let's say value and here you could either type it in if you remember what we're targeting which was item c selected so we're gonna check up if it's true or false now and let me just write true because we want to detect everyone which is true so all the experience design which are basically selected to true is gonna be now put forward. And one thing what always you need to check up is if it's else if or if. They're separate functions and they're equally important. I'm gonna to toggle it to if so that it fires up both instead of checking one or the other. And next thing, the last thing to do is just set panel state. Background color, if you remember, we created before the first thing. Just check it to select it, click OK. And boom, that should do the trick. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna see that I'm gonna highlight my bits and boom, every experience designer now has been highlighted. And just to demo how it would be if let's say I would do something else like my own name, I would just delete that C team. I could just, you know, edit it here. Uh, C name, just be sure that syntax and, and, and the construct is correct. So everything is case sensitive too. I'm just going to type, let's say, my name. So I'm checking, hey, find in this specific column, this fella, and then select that item to true. And then in the repeater itself, we can just go ahead. And as you can see, nothing else here needs to be changed because we're saying if this selected item is true, just change the color. Simple as that. So let's preview again and just to see let me highlight myself. Boom, done, done and dusted. Let's promote and that's about it. I hope this answers your questions of how to target a specific entry within your repeater. I mean, there is just so many ways to do this. This is one of the ways and one of the easiest ways because you're basically, you need to kind of construct a custom loop of events in order to change it. There are other ways to change it, of course. So you can experiment, you can find your own way what works for you best, but this is the easiest, by far easiest way to do so. So as per usual, if you like this video, leave a comment down below. Check the challenge video, by the way. I think it should have been came out or maybe it's gonna come out where you are gonna be challenged to UX prototype if actual on a specific topic, myself included. So enlist yourself. I hope it's interesting and I'll see you next time.